What's up, YouTube? Alright, I got two master cylinders. One is going to be for the clutch, and the other is going to be for the brakes. I'll show you what to look for when you order that master cylinder, so you get the right one that you need the first time. That's right. So just hold on one more second, and I'll show you the right one. Alright, now that I got you guys here, let's take a look at these master cylinders and see what we got here. So this one here, this one's going to be a brake master cylinder. And why is that? Because it has more hookups for lines. Right there, right there, and right there. Whereas the clutch master cylinder, I'm just going to have the one there. So, that's going to be the, the difference. They look very similar, but ba-bam, ba-bam, ba-bam. And another thing on Toyotas is you can get a, uh, if you order it for the V6, you can get the one-edge bore, and that's going to be an upgrade master cylinder for better stopping power. So this one, you don't really want to get this one. We, if, unless you... You can for a two-wheel drive, it's alright, it's plenty fine for a two-wheel drive, but if you have four-wheel drive and you plan on putting bigger tires, you want to get the, the one-inch full-size. So, I hope you guys learned something from that, so we'll get into it on the bench bleed. Alright, so what we're going to do is we will fill up the master cylinder with your brake fluid. And I'm just using a dot three high temperature synthetic fluid. We'll just fill it up there. You see those bubbles bubbling up? That's a good thing. It's already doing its job being sideways. So the thing is, we, we want to see all the bubbles get out. We don't, we don't want to see any air bubbles whatsoever. So let's get to pumping. And I'm going to top it off. is a very important step in replacing the master cylinder. Top it off again. All right, I'm going to let that sit for a moment. All right, I'm going to go back to pumping. I'm going to let that sit for a little bit longer, and then we'll come back. Alright, we're just about done. And a good little trick, which I've been doing, is you'll see the air bubbles go in and out. 
when I plunge out and when it plunges back goes to back in I don't want any bubbles to go back in so I just kind of just watch it just slowly let out and then you won't be seeing any more bubbles eventually Just a little, just a little baby bit of bubbles. It's all right, you know, shake it up a little bit, make sure you don't get back in there. Let's put a little bit in there, just a little bit more. Call that good as gravy right there. All right, so now that I've done that, let's just go ahead and drain it all out. Alright, so now I'm just going to disconnect the hose. Let's get it all back to drain right there. And put the cap on it. Just take this line here.
Alright, and after you get the cap on, you're just going to disconnect the hose. You're going to want to plug it as soon as you get it off, or else it's going to be kind of slowly trickling out. So just make sure you do that. And that, you guys, that's how you're going to bench bleed that master cylinder, and that's how you're going to pick out the right one. So if you like what you're seeing, let me get a like, a sub, and a comment. Deuces.